Welcome to my last 24 hours in southern France. I started off my day by sleeping in as usual. And I headed to a little grocery store to pick up a couple water bottles for the day and wax strips. I then headed to Sephora to get an eyebrow pencil because the eyebrow gel I had used the day before made my eyebrows look grey and I didn't want to have to use eyeliner in my brows again. Okay, so I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and it was 25% off. And I also returned the cleanser that I bought earlier, so in total, I just spent 11 euros and one cent. My first official stop of this day was this beach called La Plage de la Marinière. I needed to go to the train station, but I couldn't find the entrance for the life of me, so I decided to just follow some random people that looked like they might have been running to catch the train, but... In general, just don't follow strangers in random foreign cities. This is the only instance where it was okay. But the views from the train were absolutely incredible. Like, I really couldn't believe what I was seeing and I honestly wish I could have shared the moment with someone else because it was just amazing. But this is literally insane. I've never been in the ocean before. So this is gonna be my first time. The water is so blue, what the heck? And all the houses on the hills, like, this is insane. I had to climb over a bunch of rocks to get to a more secluded area, and I took some film pictures on my disposable camera. I would show you guys, but I haven't developed them yet, even though it's been like two months. mistake of the day was not wearing my bikini bottoms. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like, I can get my bikini top on with my shirt still on, but I don't know how I'm going to get my bottoms on and I don't see any washers. I haven't been to the beach in so long, so this is really nice. I just took my hair out of its ponytail. I did rollers last night, but it did not work. I'm guessing the mousse that I bought from the grocery store was really bad. Literally, the curls disappeared in two seconds. At this point, I'm still trying to decide where to change into my bikini bottom, and I was thinking about just going into the water and doing it there, but I felt really shy even though there wasn't anyone around. I went to see how cold the water was, and it just didn't end up working out. The water is freezing. I don't think I can do it even if I try. Oh my god. Public nudity guys, someone call the police. <laughs> Whoa, you didn't actually think I was gonna show you this part, did you? <laughs> No, but I actually did take my pants off right there and I changed into my actual bikini bottoms in this enclosed space that the rocks formed. It's hard to explain, but there was no chance that anyone saw me. In the meantime, while I'm changing, I'll let you guys enjoy the view so don't go anywhere. Just wait, it won't be too long till we arrive. This was my first time going to the ocean, so I was super excited. It might just be a placebo effect, but the water felt different to me. I did actually end up going completely into the water because it was so cold, but looking back, I should have just sucked it up and done it. This is weird. <laughs> this is very weird, don't judge. But I licked my hand to taste the water because as we all learned, oceans are salty, and I just need to verify that for myself. Like. What if they had been lying to me for my entire life? So cool. One thing that is really nice about the beaches in southern France is that they had free public Wi-Fi and I didn't buy a French SIM card so it was really convenient to have. Wow, my, my hair has gotten a lot frizzier. Yeah, I've been here for at least like 30-40 minutes now. 
So I think I'm gonna take some pictures and then head to my next location. My next destination was this beach called Plage Paloma. On the way, I saw these paddle boarders and it looked so cool to me. I definitely want to try it one day. And it honestly just felt like I was watching two main characters live their lives. It was actually kind of peaceful. I was headed to the bus stop and had to go up so many stairs, you guys. Like, just stairs everywhere. I for sure had thighs of steel after that day. Again, the views from the bus were just so amazing, especially since I'm so used to just seeing houses on my bus ride and people blasting loud music out of their speakers, so it was a nice change of scenery. I really enjoyed looking at the mountains off the water, and I've just never seen anything like that before, so it was all just really cool to me. Unfortunately, things took a turn when, while I was walking to the next beach, I somehow accidentally turned my phone brightness all the way down and because it was so bright outside, my phone screen looked black and I thought my phone was broken. That's what I was trying to explain on here, on my camera, except I rambled on for way too long. I put it under some shadows and still couldn't see anything, so I was genuinely convinced at this point that my phone screen was broken. After about an hour, I decided to take the bus back to Nice because I had no idea where I was going without my phone, and figuring out how to get back without directions took me another 30 minutes. Once I got on the bus and saw my very dim phone screen, I realized the mistake I had made, but at this point, I decided that it would just be better to stay in Nice and explore the things I didn't really get to experience the day before in the city. I felt so stupid for wasting my time and thinking that my phone was broken and it honestly killed my mood because I had this whole plan of going to a bunch of towns and beaches along the southern border but I knew that letting a bad hour ruin my entire day was not going to help me in any way so I decided to blast my favorite playlist and wander until I got lost to improve my mood and get over myself. It took a while, but it eventually worked, and I felt a lot better after. Hey guys, it's been a while. It's currently 7.21, so I think I got back to Nice like two hours ago. Basically, I've been trying to find a way to like get out of this mood that I'm in. I just feel like my time in Nice didn't go exactly as I planned or like wanted it to go, but I think I've still found unexpected ways for it to be enjoyable. Right now, I forgot the name. I think it's Mount something, and I think it starts with a B. But I climbed up a shit ton of stairs to get up here. There's not many people around, so I'm really just enjoying it and soaking it in. And there's a great view of the sun, so I think I'm just gonna stay here probably for like two more hours because I definitely want to watch the sunset from this view and then hopefully find somewhere to eat. I was heavily debating like should I even post this video? Is it even interesting? Like I feel like I didn't even do anything and like all my plans got messed up. But I feel like not everything is always going to turn out the way that I want it and like just because things didn't go perfectly doesn't mean that I shouldn't show it. Like. I don't only have to show the absolute highlights of this trip, so like, I don't know if this vlog's going to be interesting, I don't know if many people are going to watch it, but I think I should still post it. Anyways, I guess to go on with the initial theme of how much I spent in a day, so I spent 390 euros at a little like cafe thing, I got a pan au chocolat and an eclair, a chocolate eclair. I didn't know that eclairs were like cold. Like it had like some cold cream inside and I'm honestly just not a fan of like cold food. That sounds weird, but like it's just not my thing. So I ate like half the eclair, but I finished the pen of chocolate and that was really good. I feel like something that can really bring on my mood is just listening to my favorite songs and like singing along and rocking out so I think I'm just gonna chill here for like 
15 20 more minutes just like soaking everything in and like getting my mood up and then i'll continue on because i feel like i'm so low energy right now and i want to be like hyped up for the rest of this so that's what i'm gonna do i still have a lot more stairs to climb up so that's gonna be fun exploring back to my airbnb now because i just finished eating it's 10 16 but i'm really tired like i think i've almost fallen asleep in public like three times now the weather is so good the energy is so good i feel like i vibe more with the energy during the night i also really need to pee and i don't want to use a public washroom i just want to go back to the airbnb however the problem is I don't actually know where my Airbnb is. I don't know where I'm going. Literally don't. I don't have Wi-Fi, so my Google Maps isn't working. I'm just going in the direction that I think it would be. But I'm very lost. I am very lost indeed. <laughs> These stairs literally look cool, so I'm just going up. And I guess I'll try to find my way around. Hopefully find somewhere that has free Wi-Fi. I'm actually very impressed with myself. I was going in the right direction. There are some spots, especially along the coast, that just have free Wi-Fi by like the city or municipality. So that's what I used. And I'm only a 14 minute walk from my Airbnb. So hopefully by the time I get there, I'll be chilling and not about to piss my pants. I don't know about you guys, but I usually pee a lot and I can't hold my pee for very long and I've only peed one time since I left this morning, which was at like noon, so that's very surprising. I've peed once in the last 10 hours. I was walking in the complete wrong direction for like 7 minutes. I just want to pee, man. Guys, I literally have no idea what just happened. This is the type of shit that's gonna get me human trafficked one day. This girl came up to me with like a hug and she was like, oh my god, you're so pretty. I guess, thanks, I don't know, I feel really bummy right now. And she seems sweet, but 
you know, a lot of human traffickers probably seem sweet. She's just like, where are you going? I was like, I'm just going back to my Airbnb. I don't know if that was the safest thing to say. She was like, oh, like, we're doing like whatever you should come out with us. I was like, no, I have to wake up like early tomorrow to fly out. She's like, where are you going? I was in Paris. She's like, oh, like Paris is great. Have fun. Blah, blah. I was like, have a good night. But like, she, she hugged me like three times. I think she was drunk. There are these like fenced off public gardens around Nice that I've always seen and smelled because they always smell like flowers, but I've never actually been in one. But I just ran into this one on the way, so I decided to stop. I really need to be. That's also partially why I sat down because I needed the key to go up my bladder a little bit more so that I could continue on walking. I'm really glad that my mood was able to turn around. After I went up the hill, I watched the sunset by the ocean. Like, what the heck? I got dinner and now I'm here. Today was a good day. Yeah. Anyways, I've been rambling for 10 minutes now.